the railway station. Nearer means it will be 60 kilometers from the railway station. That is the advertisement. Nearer the railway station and a market is nearby. And everything he wrote and gave that to the farmer and asked him, please give the charges, fees for this advertisement. The farmer reading after that, then he told, I am not going to sell this land. The advertising journalist got angry. Just few minutes back, you told you are going to sell this land. I wrote an advertisement. After seeing the advertisement, reading the advertisement, you are telling you are not going to sell the land. He told, I myself did not know so many good things are there in my farm. So after learning, studying your, reading your advertisement, I found out so many good things are in my farm. Then why should I sell it? I can have it and I can earn from the farm. So this is the uh, influence which the journalist uh, can uh, influence the people, even the common man. And apart from that, I always feel South India journalists. Here we are all representing the South India uh, Journal Association and journalist. I always feel, because uh, as a politician previously and as a governor now, South Indian representations, whether it is projected in a pan-India platform, it is highly questionable. For example, in my life uh, itself, in my experience itself, I will narrate an experience. I, we went for a governor's conference to UP. That was a pre-conference -con uh, 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 discussion. Some four to five governors were divided into four groups and some of us went to UP and some of us went to Gujarat. And uh, At that time when I landed there, my ADC wanted to go to the washroom and he went away and I was standing there. Another five governors were standing there so that we had, we had a reception. They were receiving. So all the governors, they gave a bouquet and the IAS officer just skipped me. Then I was just relaxed. I, I didn't mind it. Then immediately my ADC came and asked, so you didn't receive my governor? No, I received all the governors. Then she told, she is our governor. Then, oh, she's a governor. I didn't know that. So even the South India, who is representing three states almost, but we are, they are not aware. Even an IS officer is not aware. Uh, so I felt, because it is, it is not a complaint. But most of the time from the down south politicians and social people from down south, whether we have pan-India representation, whether we have pan-India recognition, it is really questionable and I'm really happy the South India Media Summit is conducted here and it is need of the hour and I am very proud of this program because I myself have felt the bitterness of the uh, sometimes it's I'm not telling always because it is I always narrate another incidents also when I became the governor why I am telling IAS officer and the child is almost the same when I became the governor of Telangana uh, I was standing in the queue in the airport and everyone was wishing me then one child of eight years asked her mother, Amma, why everyone is wishing her? Then she told, she is our governor. That child told, Amma, don't bluff. Hey, really, she is our governor. No, Ma, only old man can be governor. She cannot be a governor. That was a message from the child. Then when I told, no, no, you come here and uh, I will tell, I am the governor. Then immediately she wanted a photograph with me. And uh, she told, then her mother asked, why you, you are a very shy child and now you are asking a photograph with the governor. Then she told, when she can become the governor, I also can become the governor. So that is the uh, seed, that's the encouragement we sowed in the children's mind. So this is the influence, the society. And media plays a very important role. Now there is no politics or no any social service or nothing uh, without uh, uh, media. But now the media influences little more and strategy is little more. It is like artificial intelligence, like artificial influence has emerged. Some of the young leaders I have, because we are not instantly, sometimes we do certain things. When we go in the car, suddenly if we see a person, instantly we get, into, get out of the car and when we, the, no, no, a young leader I met, he was telling, no, no, today I will uh, tailor a program so that I will go in the car, suddenly I will get out, I will call the media and then it will be as a virus, it will go as a viral in the social media and media. So nowadays we have the challenge is more. The challenge is more, as I said, artificial intelligence, 
technology and uh, as a person from a political family i have seen the evolution of the media from my father's days my father was a disciple of kamaraj and during that time the uh, reporters will come and write and they'll re read and tell uh, the phrases are correct i always request the media personnel be careful in the phrases once i told in a uh, media if the people would have supported us because i was a busy politician if the people would have supported us we would have been a people representative but identifying the talents of us our honorable prime minister and president and home minister gave us this responsibility this we would have identified that is a different phrase next day the print media carried it the people ignored me so i was made as a governor so this uh, clearly there is a difference between so I, i am very careful in using my phrases so my request is please be very careful in the phrases and another thing if you tell something the head is cut tail is cut and sometimes body is projected in a very controversial way so i always feel this sanctity should be maintained and apart from that today even though we are uh, talking about all our commitment towards media i want to highlight how the media influences the people how the media is taking a very important role in the political field particularly media challenges there's a different phases media during the ordinary time media during the challenging times particularly during emergency i am a person who directly got the blow of emergency i was a school going child my father was old congress person and he was arrested and my mother was pregnant i i, I got the painful i know the painful and uh, uh, i felt the painful days of emergency and at the same time media freedom was curtailed in the post freedom period media uh, freedom was curtailed and another challenging period a media phases during the election period so there will be political pressure social pressure so there uh, there should not be any twist of the news at the same time news should be projected and all these challenges media is facing and i always think that it is in media challenges and out of media challenges i always respect the reporters because they are in the field and i always feel bad about not feel bad concerned about the uh, reporters of the in the villages when i travel when i was a politician i used to give some media interaction with the city people and these poor uh, fellows will be standing with the camera and in a remote area so they will be requesting some politician because very rarely they see the politicians so we used to go and uh, tell some words to them so these are all the challenges which they are uh, facing and apart from that now the taking over of the social media that is very important because our honorable prime minister during uh, one of the uh, uh, media conference he told golden jubilee celebration of the uh, world press freedom day he told world press freedom day is a day to reiterate our unwavering support towards a free and vibrant press which is vital in a democracy in today's day and age social media has emerged as an active medium of engagement and has added more vigor to press freedom the social media nowadays whether we are seeing face to face we are only seeing the facebooks in a in a lighter sense i read one article one person was telling two of the friends were meeting so two persons met and one person asked you look very familiar to me and are you in facebook or twitter or instagram then he told no no i am not in facebook twitter or instagram i am residing in the upstairs for four years so that that is the problem now we are not in direct contact only gadgets rule us and when when i went for a convocation uh, one child got gold medal i asked her uh, you want to submit this gold medal Uh, to dedicate this whole gold medal to whom your father your mother or your teacher she told i want to dedicate this to google so now the uh, uh, the gadgets and the technology is taking over so that challenge was not in the previous years so the uh, not only the social persons politicians and all also the uh, uh, media personnel 
or have succumbed to that and they have to be very careful because if they report now social media reveals other things and when such things are revealed and then that uh, credibility should be maintained and apart from that the pressure as i tell it's not only social pressure the uh, bringing out the issues in a lighter sense i was reading in a paper how the uh, editors are in pressure three of them went to uh, uh, outing one editor and one reporter and one um, uh, photographer of the magazine so god suddenly appeared then what do you want he called the photographer and he told i want a luxurious house it should be in an island so i want everything so he gave a created house in the island and he gave immediately he or she god god us god and then other he called the reporter what do you want i want a very luxurious house in kashmir and i want to be very cool and i want some more money also so he created immediately a, a house and then immediately then he called the editor now it is your time what do you want no i want both of them back because within 10 hours i have to finish my issue so my pressure is <laughs> my my i cannot celebrate your uh, generosity so i want both of them immediately so this, this is the request from the god so that uh, that i can uh, uh, actually uh, pulse the pressure how the issues are brought out and not only that each and every page it matters and we have to have good reporters and good workers because it is not only the media the people the intelligence and uh, their ability to catch the uh, news and to uh, deliver so these are all the problems which you are facing because i can say that it is uh, uh, press freedom and uh, how the press are uh, acting as a catalyst but day to day what is the problem the reporters and all the uh, media personals and even uh, female reporters i always felt uh, con- i was concerned about them and when they come uh, i always uh, ask whether you have any resting room any rest room so these are all the concerns because it's not, not media means not not only talking superficially about it what all the problems they face and what all the problems the society face because of them why i am telling sometimes twisting of news are there sometimes this uh, another concern is paid news i am very much concerned about that also so as uh, as media personals there should be some truth in the reporting and there should be some generosity genuinity in the reporting and because of us because we are our uh, development is interlinked and we believe each other to help the people it is not for ourselves to help the people and i always feel that media sometimes the politicians avoid media why means they are very much afraid of media they say if they deliver something and if it is projected in a different way our intention is altered tarnished so my request is there should be a good interrelationship between the leaders the social personals and the media there should be a, a a a conscious recognition between both of them and southern part of uh, media and we are all we all know that uh, uh, in tamil nadu i have faced uh, 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 the media and sometimes even some of the leaders face some problems because of the altered news that also we have to be very careful that is one of my requests so please uh, be very careful in the phrases and uh, the intention of the interview and uh, the uh, uh, the pride of the person who is giving the interview and nowadays when we give something uh, the social media criticisms just flies it's now now twitter has flied the uh, the sparrow has flown away but in spite of that uh, immediately then immediately uh, one one phrase will be projected by one way for example pudhiya thalaimare put a card then immediately our friends from okay okay you are doing this that like that they immediately uh, they criticize us so we must be very careful and it should be uh, uh, exchangeable our 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 policies and our uh, pride and our uh, nature and everything should be uh, we have to be very careful about that and the media industry in south india has not only reflected this extraordinary diversity but has also played a pivotal role in shaping its 
commendable compound annual growth rate that is of 15% propelling its size to an impressive 75000 crores is a testament to the spirit of innovation and advancement that characterizes the region south india media summit which is visionary concept of acknowledging and glorifying the indispensable role of south india in the media landscape emerges as a beacon of progress and catalyst for the future growth now let us march forward and transform this edition of south india media summit into an unforgettable chapter in the annals of media history on this momentous occasion i extend special appreciation to the organizers of this remarkable event fourth dimension media solutions private limited led by the duo of uh, mr shankar balasubramaniam and mr bharat vishwanathan for their unwavering dedication in transforming such a grand conclave into a tangible reality in the heart of iconic city of hyderabad it is well known that fourth dimension media solutions has carved a distinguished niche for itself in the realm of media outsourcing with resounding pressure presence across every facet of media in the country i once again a warm welcome to all the all those present at this summit may you relish your time in hyderabad and let us work together to make south india media summit 2023 an event we can all cherish i wanted to convey the message of our honorable prime minister modi ji once he said we walk together we move together we think together we resolve together and together we take this country forward and i'm really very happy to participate in this program and my appeal is let us all be friendly and let us all be true to each other and i request you all yeah, be very friendly and i always feel the press personnel are very friendly personnel and there is a saying that i should be awarded for not talking which i could talk so much there to talk but not talking so i should be awarded so there is a famous saying like that so we should not feel like that we must openly talk and the media should take the essence of it the honey of it and to give it to the people in a right way thank you